So, hello and welcome to Making Up the Magic. Yes, it's a channel. It's my channel. It's a, it's a real channel. I do crazy shit here, makeup and mediumship in that order, or maybe the reverse order for now, mediumship and makeup. Um, so April was intense for me. And um, May is, is calming down and I finally have some time to sit down here and make a lovely video for you about May energy. I went to Spain at the end of April and I met someone new, new, I mean, she was hanging around and I didn't know it was her because in Canada where I live, there's not a lot of Spanish culture floating around and since I'm not a Hispanophone and I don't know that many Mexican friends or South American friends, I I never heard of her and her name is Lola Flores and I picked her up in Sevilla, that's where I went because I'm, um, I love flamenco and I had to go there for the feria Ooh, I mean, if, if you want to have a culture shock, if you are white, I recommend going there. So I was, I saw Lola and I realized she, she was around me. I just didn't know who she was or what that energy, because there wasn't a name to it. But sometimes in life, and, and she's just butting in. <laughs> Barb, Barb is here too. Don't worry. Barbara has not deserted me. Uh, they're both here and they want to call themselves Las Niñas de Fuegas. <laughs> de Fuega. <laughs> so the girls of fire uh, are here and they're kind of reminding me uh, May is the month of Taurus. And it's the month to plant your garden and and get yourself together and and decide what you want to grow for the summer and the fall and what you want to pull up. So what do you want to grow? I mean, the, the new moon has passed, but it doesn't matter. The new moon in Taurus has passed, but it doesn't matter because we can still find a way to to plant the seeds that we want to plant and and work with ourselves and and really get to know who we are because it's really important they're saying to know what you're made of and the only way sometimes that you can know what you're made of is to make wrong decisions and then find yourself in the detour the best way really they're saying is not to listen to other people you know be be true to who you are and if you don't know who you are I got a card here, King of Coins. <laughs> then look inside. Take some time off and look inside. King of Coins, exactly. So this is the time to manifest, to start manifesting. And I think I was I was speaking with someone uh, where I work, and I was saying, you know, life is not like a mood board. And, you know, you plan things and, you know, you get there and it can happen sometimes. But I think life is about being patient because you're not going to get everything that you want right away because some things you're just not ready for. And that's really important to know if you're ready for something or not. Just because you want something doesn't mean you should get it right away right now. Things take time here and you have to make decisions and some people just don't want to make any decisions. They just, they just think that if they wait it over, you know, life will happen. But I never found that was the best thing to do. And I'm just coming out of a period where nothing really happened in my life and it was pretty barren and... I realized it's because I was trying to make something happen that wasn't meant to happen. And now that I'm just tuning in inside of me, I'm realizing what needs to happen. And I hope you can find that for yourself too. 
So let's see another card. Oh, so we get Knight of Cups. So again, look inside. What do you want? I'm getting that last month's reading is still a very good reading because we're still being asked to look inside what really, really is there. So last month's card that came twice, which was Page of Cups. And you really need to look inside so you can find your path. Because no matter what mood words you do or what you try to conjure up, if it's not coming from somewhere deep inside of you, a real place, then it's never going to happen. And that, unfortunately, is something no one really wants to talk about, you know, manifest this, manifest that. But, you know, you can't manifest something that's not coming from inside of you. Okay. So that's my life lesson, by the way. <laughs> uh, okay. So Lily says, stop talking. So I'm going to cut the cards because nothing is coming through. So I'm going to take the card on top. Oh, I think this is the 10. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. 10 of wands from the Dolly deck. And it all makes sense now. I bought the Dolly deck and not Dolly Parton. <laughs> I would really love to see Dolly Parton's tarot deck. <laughs> Dolly, please make us a deck. Uh, before you go. So 10. So we're at the end of something. Whatever it is you were fighting for or hoping for, you're right at the end of it. We're right at the end of the weight of that sort of holding on to things and carrying them through. Because 10 of Wands is that end of that cycle. And you can see he's pretty pretty tired and there's this face looking down and that's your ego saying oh yeah go ahead one more mile you know prove to yourself you can do it well guess what sometimes you don't need to prove anything to anyone you just got to be so final card for me oh, I got one here the star so again the star is two things. It's outside, projecting. It's also inside. What's inside? What is inside will come shining through outside. Again, we're continuing that message of what are you hiding and what you need to show more of that is really you. Well, if you've been meditating on who you are and what you want to show more of and what you aren't, and what you don't want to show any more of. Well, this is the time to do it, the star. And um, I'm just going to pull a last card. Lola is saying one card for the road. I'm going to come back with a channeling with Lola because I think she deserves her own little, um, <laughs> uh, her own little show here on my my. YouTube channel. She's got a lot of things to say. She says, grab this card. Oh, two. Two of swords. The bowl. <laughs> uh, so what, what are you choosing? Mm. What are you choosing? Again, what you choose in May is really important. Okay. This is, it's just the energy. If, especially if you're in the Northern hemisphere, this is the energy of regrowth. So what are you choosing to grow in your garden, in your body, in your mind, in your thoughts? Whatever you put in there, the seeds grow. You are a garden, the garden of life. And you have to tend to yourself. If you're looking for other people, if you're looking for me to tend, I'm not there. I'm just here behind this lens giving you advice. And the best thing to do when in doubt is look inside. The bull is there. The bull is a good thing and a bad thing. Bad when it's not 
harnessed. So harness the bull, harness the toreador in you, okay? And have a nice month of May and plant well, grow well, and plan well. Adios, no adios. Hasta luego. Ciao.